when I was listening to the ru right, ruling, oh, <laughs> right, Jantua, the ruling of the court, and of course, um, we had the uh, CJ as the lead. I was thinking, and it looks like some of our viewers too seem to be of same mind. So, for example, Alaji now says, Roland, so please ask Lawyer Ishak, for example, that if Apenyo Markings uh, had decided to contest as NDC MP currently, not cross capital. Because if you if you look at if you look at the main objective, the argument is that the member of parliament should stay in the current parliament because he was voted for the current term. So very good. Please take your constitution. So <laughs> let's say let's not use a penny marking. Let's say the former now MP, after having gone independent, decided that he wanted to contest as CPP or NDC in Formena, knowing that he has a base to win. So it means that he will be contesting as NDC MP and be second deputy speaker for the term and will be allowed. So let's say that happens in the early part, in the early part of the term. Let's say by the third year, because within uh, the, the, we are first year, second year, third year, and fourth year. By the second year, the, the officers would have been known and people's positions would have been known. And he decides that he wants to contest as an MP. In the next election, whilst in this parliament, he's representing himself as an independent candidate. So what, what, what will be done then? Will he be allowed for the next two years or the next one year to be sitting in the House? Whilst he represents either MPP or NDC. You see the confusion? No, there's no confusion here because the Supreme Court seems to be... I could be wrong. According to the Supreme Court's uh, dictate. But I feel Hmm? Now I go to 97. A member of parliament shall vacate. Shall vacate. The shall is mandatory. And then when you go to H, on the face of it, it says, if he was elected a member of parliament as an independent, the former MP, was elected as a member of parliament as an independent right true or false true then he goes on to say independent and joins a political party uh, are you saying a member the constitution should have read and will join mm -mm 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 -mm. i'm not saying that i'm taking it from the mandatory part of 97 it says shall vacate and i'm trying to find out when you look at the context of H, hmm, it says, if he was elected a member of parliament as an independent candidate, the former MP, he was elected as a member of parliament as an independent candidate, no be so, and joins a political party. Has he not joined the political party? Right or wrong? What does the constitution say? Shall vacate. So for me, it's clear. Yeah. For me, it's clear. I don't see any other interpretation right, 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 right. to this. The question is whether it should vacate now or for the next one. Now? How do you know he's going to win the next one? Is he God? <laughs> Will he be able to tell? It's an MPP stronghold. Eh? So let's go. Let's wait. Let's go to the MPP constitution. What does it say about people who, uh, what do you call it? Uh, no, but they have followed what is in the constitution to do their own. Yeah. It is absolute. You are out. So what's the difference? Let me ask a question. The speaker, in giving his information, cited certain things that he used. I expected the Supreme Court... Uh, to clarify 
Honorable Michael Quay's situation, eh? where they said the MPP brought a petition indicating that the Formna MP was no more in the party. Eh? And so, what happened? Did he not stand as independent? Was he not taken out? True or false? Number two, I expected the Supreme Court to clarify Ajwa Safu's situation. Mm. But this is not the, the... They are not looking at the... This is just for the order. Those were mm. not before them. Mm. They were, it was not before them. But mm. it would have helped, wouldn't it? To While strike, the position to strike it out. You see, you see, you see... The, when the Supreme Court sits, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, the Supreme Court sits not only to interpret the law, but the Supreme Court also sits because of public interest. And that public interest eh, has got to do with some of these things. Clarify it for us. Was the Speaker right in indicating that Adjoa Safo, she had absented herself from Parliament beyond 15 days could he declare her seat vacant or not clarify it for us so that we all understand that the speaker couldn't have done that it is not in the speaker's remit whatsoever to declare a vacant position but you know that parliament can interpret you know courts can interpret you know that even the Council of State can interpret, but the Supreme Court has the overall power to interpret where <sighs> there is a dispute in the law. Well, we'll, we'll, right, right we'll get that on the... That's true. Right or that's wrong. True. You're, you're, right. you're right. Now, I feel... Mm, and I, I respect the CJ very well. I respect that. But I feel the CJ experience exposed herself how do you mean wait let me finish the cj exposed herself in her interaction with sorry where she bleated out what is this country where parliament even isn't sitting is i know she's a cj not not there you don't express your opinion in that environment even if, in the, if that is what you think because the see the par parliament is a law upon itself so you stayed the action what happened huh? the speaker also wanted to show you that me do i have power in my house i have power in my house i'll suspend parliament indefinitely you cannot do anything about it you cannot tell me to get parliament back up because it is my power I, I, I'm in my jurisdiction. Okay. For me, eh, I think for, for situations like this, we should try as much as possible to form consensus. Mm. And I think that responsibility can lie with the Supreme Court in as much as th they have the power mm, to interpret that interpretation should lead to co a consensus issue and not lead to strife. Right. Maybe based on what the Supreme Court said, the Speaker has now indicated that Parliament will be called in when? Early November this month. Now, there is still a situation that needs to be sorted out because I don't think the NDC are going to move away from this majority minority thing no it has to they be should. it has to be based on what well, the supreme court well said. let's see let's see let's see if it will okay. when 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 the last time they went was it not there afenyo Markin decided to walk out so that there is no confrontation between the two which i feel was a good act he made okay in terms of at least walking out because he did indicate that ndc they are friends we are brothers we are this so are you saying no... that the ndc too can also deliberately decide that we disagree with the position and as a result of that Why they, 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 they? they will indirectly decide not to can they and as amaliba rightly said it is a political issue 
all these things going on has got. So they will just come and then they walk tied, out. It's tied into politics. All right. And we've got to be able. And I'm glad that the Council of State have met the Speaker. Mm. If for nothing at all, mm, we've got to get to a point. And look, this whole thing, really and truly, in as much as there is some ambience on the NDC side for bringing it up, there was no way, if these MPs were thrown out of Parliament, there was no way that we could have a by-election, considering the time. But you see, the other side of the coin is that there were others who were denied presentation, representation in Parliament for a whole term. Absolutely nothing was said about it. Is that right? Is that wrong? And these are some of the things, for me, I think the Supreme Court should be able to clarify. Okay. Hey, Mr. K, you were wrong in making that decision. Mr. S, you were wrong in making that decision. Mr. Y, yes, what you did was right. So that it clears. Okay.